Hey, stick around because today we're talking about consent. Is your dog consenting to being patted? Hey everyone, I'm Denise Mazzola. This is Gio. We're from Everything Dog, where we talk about dog training and behavior so you can live a better life with your dog. Now today we're going to be talking about consent. Have you ever heard of consent before? And did you know that most of the time, well, I don't know if most of the time, some of the times your dogs will say, yes, please pat me some more. And some of the times your dogs are going to say, uh-uh, please don't. So let's just ask Gio. Hello, baby. How are you? What's happening? What do you think? A little, a little consent, right? At first, not so much because he just sort of sat there and looked at me. He's probably looking for meatballs because we've been doing some videoing today. I fully believe that your dog can say no sometimes. No, please don't bother me. Please don't pat me. I don't want to play that game right now. It's not all the time about us humans, humans forcing our will onto our dogs. Now, Gio's panting. We've been out in the sun. He's been sitting in a dining room chair. I've been giving him some meatballs. And so normally when I do this, you see he just licked lip, lip licked. Usually when I do this, he gets very excited and he'll definitely come back for some more. Like that's a nice little, that's a nice little thing of consent. Like that was okay. I like that, right? So then you can pat and interact with your dog some more. But if you do all these things and your dog is not consenting, then you need to take a step back and say, okay, I need to honor what my dog is saying. So <laughs> I'm gonna further say that because Gio has left the couch and is off doing something else, he really does not want to be interact, he does not want me to interact in that way with him. And it's most likely because he's too hot at the moment. But it's a very clear indicator that he was tolerant of my padding. He moved a little closer, he licked my face, but ultimately he got off the couch and he left. You can't see him, but he's laying on the floor here. Let's take a look at another dog, our other dog in our house, Big Mama Jubilee, and let's see her interaction with Amy and how she also does not consent. Let's take a look at this video of Amy approaching Jubilee Dairy. to give her some love. In, we'll, we'll let it run in total and then I'll narrate the second viewing. Hey. Oh no, you getting what you want? Hey, good girl. Okay, so as Amy approaches, Jubilee stretches. She licks her lips a couple of times, which is a sign of stress. And I want you to take a look at her tail. Her tail was okay. wagging. She does a stress shake off. Her tail's up and wagging. Her head is down. She does another stress shake off. She did another lip lick. We ask Amy to stop patting her. Her tail is now tucked. She does a little lip licking. She looks away. Tail is still down. She looks away again. She does a yawn, which is a sign of stress. Amy keeps patting her. Her head is way down now. Her tail is down. She kind of looks up, does another lip lick, which is stress and or appeasement. She did not consent to being patted. Let's contrast that clip of Jubilee with this previously recorded clip of Gio and I interacting where he's all about consent. Hi. How are you? Are you licking my head first of all? Are you licking my head first of all? Oh, 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 is this consent? Is this consent? I think this is. Oh, I think it is. I think this is. Okay, that's enough. Is that enough? Is that enough? No, 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 we can open your eyes a little bit more and have you have a different type of communication with your dog. Now, does that mean that sometimes you're going to just have to do something with your dog? Yeah, sometimes you're probably, you know, just going to have to 
do whatever needs to be done. But there are other times where you can ask the question, do you want me to pat you? May I pat you? And watch for your dog's answer. And you're only going to get the answer by stopping the interaction and waiting to see what the dog does next. There are plenty of times in our life, in my life, where I have not wanted to be interacted with, I did not want to be hugged, I did not want to be talked to, whether it's, you know, there's lots of different times. If I'm in the middle of a big heavy workout, no, I cannot have a conversation with you about what we're gonna be doing today or about what, done, what dinner is. If I'm exhausted, and I just can't get my brain neurons to fire, no, we're, we're not gonna have a big conversation there. You know, maybe I can tolerate a hug or so, right? And there's other times where, you know, when my kids were little and they always wanted to have hugs, you just had to be like, like, just like mommy needs five minutes, like not right now, okay? So we're always offering consent or not consent, and we usually, I don't know about you, but I raised my kids to obviously give consent for lots of different things, right? We didn't want, I didn't want to raise three daughters just having anybody do willy-nilly with them thinking that they just had to tolerate everything. No, we're, we're always, people give consent and our dogs can give consent. And what I want you to take away from this video today is that your dog is a living, breathing being. He or she is entitled to say no sometimes. And they can say no in very subtle ways and that's what I want you to start to pay attention to. I think it's fair to say that you will all recognize when your dog growls at you that they're saying, back off, stop doing that. And then, you know, when, they're, when they growl, half of you feel offended. <gasps> How can my dog growl at me? I love him, I feed him, I walk him, blah, blah. That has nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with it. Your dog is a separate being from you and they're not here simply to please our every whim. They have their own desires and their own times that they want to be left alone and it's up to us to start to pay attention to that. So next time you want to interact with your dog, give them a pat them, love on them, lay on them, play with them, whatever it is, ask the question, do you feel like, do you feel like having me love all over you today? Give them some pats, some scratches and then stop. Put your hands down, stay where you are, and see what the dog does. Give them a few seconds to process it. Do they come for more, or <laughs> do they do what Geo did, and jumped off, lay on the floor, walk away? If they're nudging you and asking for more, by all means, go right ahead. So enjoy this. I would love you to post in the comments below where you have noticed your dog is not giving consent that you never realized before. That would be fascinating to see. All right, I look forward to your comments, and I'll see you next week.